All right, so uh, this is for third grade, okay? Um, we usually talk about the instruments in um, the spring each year. Each grade level gets their own instrument family, okay? So first grade, you guys talked about um, the woodwind instruments, okay? You might have to dig back in your memories a little bit, but we talk about the woodwind instruments. Usually in second grade, we talk about the brass instruments, okay? Um, here's the deal. Because of school... Uh, the school building closing um, last spring, we didn't quite get to the brass instruments. At least I don't think we did. So um, I want to review or um, at least learn about the brass instruments here in third grade during this cycle. So that way, when you have music next cycle, either during cycle five or six, depending when you see this, um, we can talk about the string family, which is what we usually talk about in third grade, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna watch this video on the brass uh, instruments, okay? Um, and then we'll go from there, all right? Let me make this big, here we go. This is, this impossible. is impossible. Whatever. Whatever. I didn't want to be in the marching, marching band, band anyway. anyway. You're Tim, Tim and Moby. Moby. What are brass, what are brass instruments? instruments? Do they have, they to, have be to be made, made of brass? brass? Yours, Yours truly, truly Emilio. Emilio. Well, well, no. no. A, brass a brass instrument isn't just, isn't just any instrument, instrument that's made of brass. Made of brass. It's, a it's a wind, wind instrument, instrument you play by making your lips vibrate. Well, well a, wind a wind instrument is any instrument you play by blowing through it. But to but play a brass instrument, you have to purse up your lips and make it kind of buzzing noise. When you, when you want to hit a high note, note you, hold you hold your lips together, together tightly and make, and make a high-pitched high buzz, buzz like this. And when you want, when you to, hit want to hit a low note, note you relax, you relax your, lips your lips a little bit and make a, make a lower-pitched lower buzz, buzz like this. Yeah, your, yeah, your lips, lips make a silly-sounding silly noise. noise. So you can try that on your own as well, um, where you it kind of makes like a raspberry sound. You can certainly try that um, by yourselves as well. But if you, but put, if a you put a brass instrument, instrument in, front in front of them, of them watch, out. watch out. Lots, Lots of instruments are made, made out of brass, but that, that doesn't necessarily, necessarily make them brass instruments. instruments. Hey, right, hey, right you are. are. They, they do, do have lots of curves, curves and twists, twists in, them. in them. That's because, That's because most brass, brass instruments are really just long, long metal, metal tubes. The tube, the tube is all twisted up in order to make the instrument compact and easy to handle. In general, in general, the longer the, longer the, tube, the tube, the lower the pitch of the, pitch of the instrument, instrument, although it also depends, depends on the tube's width. width. Buzzing, Buzzing your lips against the mouthpiece causes, causes the tube and the air, and the air inside, inside it to vibrate, vibrate producing, producing a clear, a clear tone. tone. You can make, you can the, make sound the sound louder, louder by, blowing by blowing harder and make, and make it quieter, quieter by, blowing by blowing more softly. Well, there are, there are several, several categories of brass instruments. Valve, valve instruments, instruments like the trumpet, tuba, and French, and French horn, horn allow, allow the player to change the pitch of the, pitch of the notes by pressing down, down on a series of valves. Well, when you when press, press a valve, a longer, a longer airway, airway opens within, opens within the, instrument. the instrument. This forces, this forces air, through air through a longer, longer section, section of tubing and makes, and makes the, the pitch lower. The trumpet, the trumpet is the brass instrument that can hit the highest notes. There are lots, there are of, lots different of different types, types of, trumpets, of trumpets, but you've probably, probably heard at least one of them. Famous, Famous trumpets trumpeters include Louis Armstrong, Dizzy Gillespie, Gillespie and Wynton Marsalis. Marsalis. The, French the French horn is considered the hardest brass, brass instrument to master. It emits, it emits a rich, rich mellow, mellow tone, tone, and musicians play it by sticking, by sticking their, their hands into the bell. No, it's not really, really from France. France. Officially, it's just called the horn, but the name French horn stuck in English-speaking countries. Tubas, Tubas are, the are the brass instruments, instruments that can hit the lowest, lowest notes. The length, the length of pipe, pipe that makes, makes up a tuba, tuba can, be can be as long as five and a half, and a half meters. A concert, a concert tuba sits on a musician's lap, while a sousaphone, while a sousaphone often, found often found in marching bands, wraps, wraps all the way around the player. The player. Well, slide, slide instruments are a little different. different. Trombone, Trombone players change, change the pitch of their instruments by sliding a long piece of tube up and, up and down. The slide, the slide allows trombone players to slide smoothly, smoothly between notes. And natural, and natural brass, brass instruments, like the bugle, like the bugle don't, don't have any valves, valves or slides. The only, the only way, way to change, change their pitch is through the vibration of your lips. lips. 
That gives, that gives natural, natural brass, brass instruments, instruments a very, very limited, limited range, range of notes, of notes so, they so they aren't used much, much anymore. anymore. Well, well it, you know, it, you know, helps it helps if you have lips to begin, to begin with. with. It's not, it's not broken. broken.